Good morning and welcome back to Mom and Dad in the morning for April 14th, 2023. I am the sleepy mom and he is Ed and um, most surprisingly uh, this is my first unsleepy uh, morning in this um, wow. in this week somehow. Yes. Um, well that's good. One of us needs to be unsleepy. It's a good thing. Uh, thing is, I uh, had a good night of sleep this time, and, um, yeah. Um, happy to be awake rather than... Yeah, no, that's how I feel. I, I left Indy 4 yesterday afternoon and got here the equivalent of 9 last night. Uh, so a trip that's normally a little over three hours was five hours because of traffic. Well, the good news is hopefully after this weekend we will have a game plan, so I will be permanently in Indy. So. Well, semi-permanently in Indy, so... Yeah. I'm sure we'll figure that out at some point. Well, I got my first Endeavor of the done day. Woohoo! It was salvage stuff. Uh, yeah. I had a bunch of salvage sitting there. Other than that, I've got some disruptor damage, got some polaron damage. <clears throat> I did watch the new episode, and all I'll say is... Uh, all I'll say is minute 4701 is the kind of spoiler we like. And then you'll be saying, but mom, it's only 48 minutes long. That must be in the ending credits. Oh kind of spoiler. And the rest of it, I will wait till everybody's seen it because it's it's an episode that needs to be discussed. So I will wait till Ed has had a chance to get all the episodes and binge them, and then, then we can chat about it. That will be next week. So next week's a two-hour episode, I'm told, which it, it almost has to be with everything they put into this episode. And I was right on my theory, but I don't know how they're going to resolve this one. It looks really, really good. It's going to be a good conclusion. Yes, yes, I know you're right there. So I'm here today. I'm back in Chicago Thursday, Friday next week. That's all I know so far. I, crud, I have so much stuff to do in the next two weeks. But most of it will enjoy playing Star Trek. So remember how Cryptic crashed last week? Yeah. Okay, um, we use a timekeeping system that's a national system, so everybody can tie into it. It's an app. Guess what happened to them on Wednesday night? Same kind It fell dead? It did the same kind of crash. And it, I will say they got it up and running somewhat a little bit faster, but not a lot faster. So I finally sent a message to everyone going, Just, no, don't even try to put stuff in. I don't know if it's going to go in or not. I, I will let you know after I've had a chance to check it out. And as of last night, they were pretty much back up and running, maybe. So it's just like, no, who's going to crash next week for th a day and a half? So today, Ed, I have got disruptor damage on the ground, polaron damage in space on this account. Let's see what else I've got here. Got too much stuff up is what I've got. And on account number two. <coughs> this is really hard to do with Loki in my lap. Oh, that's not the name of the account. So what's this? Oh, 
Oh, okay, so there's a new blog post up called Make It So All Over Again. It contains spoilers. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so if, if you haven't seen the episode, don't look at it. Just go to the point that, hey, you can get the uh, uh, da, 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 starring. You can do the bridge set for the Enterprise D. It's just basically doing that. But, but you know that. So yeah. Actually, though, I w I will say this, and it's not a spoiler. I would really like the jackets that the. Uh, TNG crew has. I think they are great jackets. I mean, in real life, not just for my tune. I would like that jacket. I. Of course, there's no Star Trek convention this year, and there's nobody anymore who's doing costumes because of one of the companies who did costumes going out of business. Yeah. But man, that is a good looking jacket. And it's intricate enough that I couldn't even try and fake it. Good morning, Danny Smithy. Good morning, Kadargo. Yeah. As far as I can see, game screen is um, uh, rather out of uh, Twitch screen bounds. It is because I forgot that I'm on a different computer. Actually, some computer different. Let's see. Get that all up there. How's that, Ed? That look better. Uh. Sure yeah. Little... There we go. <clears throat> Alrighty, everything's up and running there. Thank you, Ed. Okay, and on uh, my main account, I've got Lucari TFO, ugh, Tetrion damage on the ground, and destroyed dreadnoughts. So I got some fun stuff we can do today. Okay. Um, my, um, uh, uh, my bucket offers, um, um, two boggy TFOs Ooh. compelled with mess up with your hull that, uh, I would think is, um, an, something I, uh, would do on Klingon side with Borg TFOs. I can do Borg TFOs because I can go. Oh, I can switch yeah. over. And on the other account, mm -hmm. it would be um, ground damage, uh, oh, considerably cool. amount, which would call for Federation side uh, backhand or power descension. Works for if me. we go endeavor wise. I can absolutely do that. I need disruptor damage on the ground on one account. I can go with better KDF, and on the other one, I need um, some uh, dreadnoughts, which would smack of a gentle run through a hive onslaught. Okay, so Federation calling for ground damage first. Okie dokie. Let's make sure my ground tune up. So wrong tune. Let's grab me a Federation tune there. Make sure she's got a disruptor on her. Alright, do we have a disruptor for this lovely lady? Woof. Um. Yeah, it'll do good enough for that one. You just say uh, Federation, right? Uh, Federation and uh, Susie Nicebergs will okay. join ya.
There's Susie, and what would you like to do? Um, bug hunter pop. Back hand, back hand, or uh, Pavo just. Um... I'm gonna vote for bug hunt because this isn't the best equipped tune out there. Let's see what she's got. Yeah, we don't want to do that one. If we're gonna do that, get away with that if I have to. And did it. Oh, we got a wee-woo while I was trying to re-equip my... Wee-woo, wee-woo. So we have started putting our gardens together at work. Our office has a huge garden, and everybody gets a plot like 4 feet by 10 feet long. And now that I'm a solo version of me, I'm trying to think, well, what the heck do I need that much land for, for growing stuff? So, team, aside from green beans, what the heck should I put in the garden? Please don't say tomatoes. I hate tomatoes. I hate tomatoes. Um. But, I mean, it's enough ground to plant food for a year. I mean, as long as I can't preserve it. Um, Whatever. Yes, you, you, you could have your favorite, favorite potatoes. I had thought about that. I have never done potatoes. That could be fun. Or oh, you, um, you uh, could start with a small sign mm -hmm. uh, telling about, um, yes, a sign uh, written uh, in there. Y you know, those, um, w when you see those. Uh, plant boxes and stuff where every flower gets its labels like uh, the champagne rose of uh, the Duke of uh, somewhere, <laughs> um, you would have a sign called George and uh, uh, if colleague asks, yes it's uh, George the pumpkin will be here <laughs> and you have your, you will grow a giant sized pumpkin I'm sure George, One. the actual person who works for us, would not be amused <laughs> It's not a name for you, George It's just George, it's a different George Okay, in this case, uh, settle for Bob. Bob. We have a Bob, too. No, Bob, it's not named after you. I might have to come up with some creative names if I might name my vegetables after people. Well, that's actually a thought. Maybe I'll get some raspberry bushes and I'll plant, like, some raspberries. That takes up a lot of space, but then everybody can have fresh fruit. Some I grew uh, strawberries last year. While I'm not hugely fond of strawberries, there's something the delightful about a strawberry that's incredibly ripe and has been sitting in the sun and is warm and juicy and just, okay, so it's got a little bit of dirt on it, but it's an organic garden. We don't use fertilizer. And, oh, Yeah, but the um, uh, thing is, if you grow the vegetables without um, tuning, just let, uh, let nature do her work. The stuff is um, tastier and healthier oh, in combination. It, yeah, it it's, is. That's horrible. No. <laughs> My boss kept going, but these are going to be homegrown tomatoes. They're going to taste so much better than, you know, store bought tomatoes. And I was trying to explain to her the first time that I had a tomato, I was out in the garden, my mother's garden, at the farm. And there are these big, beautiful red things, and she took one out of the garden. She took a giant bite out of it, and I was going, mm. I'm like, oh, can I have one? And she's like, sure, have a bite. Oh! Oh, oh this is horrible! Clear to and that's been me and tomatoes ever since. Until you put them in pizza. Once you put them in a pizza, into the little spaghetti sauce, we're good. But tomatoes, ugh. At least now I can stop using my disruptor. I'm done disrupting. Rhubarb. Could Argo, that's actually brilliant. Rhubarb would be great. I love rhubarb. Yeah. And the probably not the best plant for um, uh, for a uh, um, uh, for a garden in uh, in your area, but um, you could go for a rhubarb banana jam. <laughs> Not so sure the bananas, oh, bananas would do well. Would not expect that bananas would grow well in your area. Um, no. 
Definitely not a banana area. I'm told that rhubarb strawberry is a good combination, but I like just rhubarb. Fire in the hole! Ooh, somebody's got the Voth suit on and you can hear clink, 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 clink. that we need to jump down this narrow fissure in the rock. Be careful. I don't know what's waiting for us at the bottom. According to our scans, there's a tunnel under us. Give me a moment, I'll clear a path. Fire in the hole! Watch that first step! <laughs> Since this is unadvanced, every now and then when you do these two giant falls, you know, one through the ground and one over the edge, there should be a random chance of breaking your ankle. Mr. Funder. I think I can get us across. See that large... Cover me! Okay, shields up. Yeah. Another pest control bet for me. Ah, uh, yeah. And, um, <clears throat> uh, this is, um,
the reason why I uh, love the discovery phase arrival from the Novi Star. Yes. Um, awesome single tartan performance. Uh, you, uh, um, versatile and um, just don't use the secondary mode. Go for first uh, for, uh, primary fire mode only and you will be fine. I had it's my just... little tiny bit of disruptor damage and whatever I had worked fine. E yeah. Um, the um, something damaged on ground um, all you need is um, yes, an advanced non-boggy ground TFO and uh, a, de a, a reasonable weapon so don't go for them. MK1 uh, mm -hmm. BB, but uh, anything else is uh, will, will be fine. Yes, yes. Well, I still have Polaron damage on s in space on this account, and on the other account, I have uh, Dreadnoughts, Tetrion damage on the ground, and unfortunately, Lucari TFO, which I probably am going to reroll. Because, you know, eh. Eh. Um. So I've I've got a uh, hive onslaught if you're up for a hive onslaught. Um, would enjoy on Federation uh, on Klingon side. Oh, on Klingon side. Okay, let me. Yeah. Let me go see which one of my Klingons is up to the challenge. Oh, I know. I know who can do it. My Romulan Feder or Klingon guy lady can do it. With her Estika. Oh who shall yeah. I invite? Um, Eknat. <sighs> Klingon recruit. My hive is ready to be onslaughted. Woo, woo, <laughs> fast. There we go. <clears throat> I am so tired today, I cannot think coherently. I may go back to bed for a little bit when we are done here. Attack pattern pillow! Yeah! Yeah, I have two huge projects to work on this weekend aside from working on the house stuff so it's gonna be a long weekend do we have anything that's up this weekend for stuff that we're doing is it like a marks weekend or an r and d weekend or a anything weekend um delithium week and starting april 20. oh but that's next week right that next week. Oh, yeah. that's fine. Actually, I'm, ho <coughs> I'm home starting on the 20th, so I can do some stuff. <coughs> wow. So I guess it's a weekend off. I will be working my butt off to get some projects done. That's okay. I need the overtime. Dreadnoughts, we got a team here. I'm not getting my oh, dreadnoughts. Oh, holy moly! Yeah. A massive energy build. Your effort. 
acts are futile. Destroy this vessel, and I will claim another. Wow. Look at that team. You guys seen that? Um... Oh my screen! Oh, sometimes, my screen thank you, thank you, Joshua. Sometimes you see the monster DPS uh, beasts around. That was a good one, and nobody saw it because my screen froze. Let me try something here. Let's do this. Thank you, Joshua. I yeah, really you don't get any hull to repair if the bog get uh, extinct before even noticing you. Holy moly! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Satali it locked on the previous thing. I had to redo it from the other one. Okay, there we go. How's that? Can everybody see new Romulus command? Uh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, you guys missed the shortest hive onslaught I've ever seen. I, I got credit for three of the dreadnoughts. I am amazed. Uh, I mean, that congratulations. Thing, that went fast. Did you say you had to do some Borg TFOs? Uh, yes, I have another Borg TFO. Perfect. And um, on Eknot. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, uh, a number of the TFOs should be done on the same tune because uh, <laughs> yes. distributed, that's not working. Just in making sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jasha is offering to join us with a tank. It has to be a Klingon tank, though. Um, uh... A deep would be also nice because um, Eknat considers himself uh, a tanky, uh, an, a tanky one. Okay, or or DPS. So Joshua, you're DP welcome. Actually, actually, anyone's welcome to join us with something that's. A, well, if, I don't actually care the way things are going today. Yeah, really, pick your favorite ship and join. Yeah. We send you an invitation, Joshua. Yeah. No, that's. That's coming up as being Federation on the logos. Joshua. We are teamed. That's. Okay. Um, what, oh, I need to do two more dreadnoughts. Hopefully, we won't get that. Infected conduit work for you? Or would you Oof. rather do Kidmer Vortex or. Uh. Um, uh, g g give us an infected conduit, and I uh, I split the line, uh, the, the run, and maybe get some damage input from. Okay. Like uh, um, in see if uh, if I get enough Borg to insult to. Uh, hey, Joshua, I'm gonna kick you because I should be able to team with you if you're Federation, but it's letting us team with you for Federation. Let me kick you. Go grab the ship you want, and I'll reteam you. How's that? For some reason, let me team him, even though he's Federation or KDF. That will be something I would be interested to review. Yes. <sighs> so is that the ship you want? Want just sure. Okay, for those of you who haven't seen the new Picard episode, the only spoiler I'm going to tell you is 47 minutes and one second in. Okay, on Starfleet Tune, but I shouldn't be able to team with you on a Starfleet Tune when we're KDF. It shouldn't let me do that. But it's letting me do that. I wonder if it's going to let me do the mission then. Let's see what happens. Okay. Alrighty. That's really interesting. And I will try uh, try such things after uh, after stream to see how things 
Let's How see can if that'll we behave? Go. We are cute. Well, let's let's see what happens. Yeah, we are cute. We have a. I have a green flashy light. Do you have a green flashy light? We mm -hmm. moves. Accepting. Forty oh seven. Forty seven oh one brought a tear to my eye. Says Italia. Yes, yes, it does. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. Okay, you want to split it, Ed? Yeah, I will fly. Um, I'll fly over to the. Um, okay, I'm gonna do crowd control in front of the gateway so I can focus on gateway and uh, tactical cube. I think we'll be fine. Whose name I can't see at the moment. Why does that happen? Hi to the person who just followed us. Naming 94. Thank you. Thank you very much for the follow. We appreciate it. Well, we got another good team here. Right through the board cubes. They still exist, guys. You can't just fly through them. Scanning the nanite transformer. It's gone, dude. There's nothing left to scan. It is an X transformer. <laughs> All yeah. right, I got credit for those two. Whew. Sensors confirm that the transport conduit has been disabled. Okay. Well, all that on less than a cup of coffee. I I'm impressive today. <laughs> So I still have some Tetrion ground damage to do, and I've got some Polaron space damage to do. If we do Polaron space damage, I have to do that on Federation. Yeah, I could hop over to a Federation captain for that. That would be great. I will switch over. First leaving everybody leaves team. How about doing something nasty? First, see if you can invite Eknat to your Federation, Captain. Let me see if I can get logged in. It's not happy with me at the moment. It's the lack of a correct amount of co ugh, coffee. Yes, coffee. I am so looking forward to Ed to not having to drive 400 miles a week. And what's now turning into a 10 hour a week project. Coffee is life, Joshua. It absolutely is life. Alright, who am I inviting, Ed? Um, first enable game screen. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ed. Uh, assistant director, Ed. <laughs> um, try Egnat. Okay, let's see if that'll work here. No, it doesn't work. So Joshua is the exception on that one. Okay, Doki. Then I hop over to uh, to another. Uh... Yeah, you I know exactly that. who. Oh, I do have this one equipped with polarons. I can shrimp at your service. And what nasty thing did you want to do today? Um, how about counterpoint? Oh, that should be fun. Hang on a second. Ugh. Ew. I'll wait for Tykin to get there. There we go. Let me make sure I haven't had all my toys fall off there. It looks like I'm reasonably well equipped. Point it is. Wee woo. Wee woo. Well, it's letting you join us either way, Joshua. Yeah, I don't know how that's happening. But it was. So apparently, um, if you go to the beginning of the game, there is a thing about. Uh, what did they call it? Uh, you know how Kel makes little blog posts? And there's one in there, the first one of the day is a spoiler. But it says it's a spoiler, so if you don't want the new episode spoiled, don't read beyond the point that says it's a spoiler. Let it suffice to say that the bridge interior from the Enterprise D does exist in the game, if you want to buy it. Hint, 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 hint. Hint, 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 hint. I don't know if I've got them. I don't think I've got that. I might have to go get it. DS9 to all Alliance ships. Yeah. If I recall, uh, 2,500 then for a bridge in Tyria. No, thank you. It's on sale. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to make it through this month financially, so no, that is not happening. Alliance forces. The station is under heavy attack. And not to worry anybody, I'll be financially sound in a couple months. It's just at the moment, the sheer volume of bills coming in for like $100 here, $500 there, $4,000 here is just, what the heck? My husband didn't leave me broke. It just takes a while for all the lawyers to do their things. The Terrans are creating transdimensional portals. The Terrans are creating. Someone mind mind doing portals? I'm working on portals. Well, we got four done. I don't even bother to shoot things, I just go and sh close the portals. People who need damage can do damagey stuff, I'll just go close portals. One. 
Linny's got that one, I think. Maybe not. Ah, looks like they didn't bother. Okay. I shall close your portal for you. Don't shoot at me, I'm closing portals. Oh. You getting that one, Ed? On my way. I'll get this one then. Sitalia says I got all the fed bridges in game. Wanna oh, share them? Wanna oh, share the love, Sitalia? Beat up in Terraknor for a moment just so I can get my polar on damage done. Lower your defenses and surrender. Sixty of my five hundred thousand. Five hundred and forty short. That needs to be the uh, motto of the screen latest fleet. We're taking too much damage. Face the wrath of we're taking too much damage. Excuse me. Emperor will crush you. Mm. Good word. No, it's not a spoiler. That has been way too early because the Emperor will <laughs> crush us every other. Uh, I cannot fly today. Wow. Just want to put these guys down. There we go.
so we got ten teams now. got killed. Hey, this is Italia. I'm next week I'm gonna be doing the O C D edition of uh, the game. So for those of you who absolutely need to do completionist type thingies like I always do. So if you don't want to do it solo we can team up and do that. Well that's nice, even though my ship was destroyed I still have the away team on it. It's not that it's a bad episode, or it's even that difficult if you're playing it on normal. Actually, it's not that bad if you're playing it on advanced either, but it takes time. And with the team, you can get through the battles a little bit easier. Seventeen teams. Morpheus to say, this is a fine moment to stand up and rearrange herself. but they're more blue than teal. We're reading an energy surge coming from Terok North. Teal global things. There is a. Uh, Terra hmm. Nor has been sent back to the There's a couple universe. of them I've got that have we that. Have to repel but that's not without your help this time. Thank you. Join us. We're a celebration in part. Let's see. So how did we do? 198 marks. 
23 teams landed and 19 portals closed. Not bad. <clears throat> not our best, but not bad. <coughs> well, I did get my damage, yay. Which I hoped I would for that. So, where are we? I think I will leave it there for the day since we only have a few minutes before I officially have to go to work. Unofficially, more, a few more minutes before I have to go get some more coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'll disband the team here. I hope to get Gur, sorry, Zim done this weekend, redo it from whatever I had done before. We will see. The other day when I asked about clan ships, I ended up getting the, yeah, the Miracle Worker Battle Cruiser. That's, I like that ship. It's it's a little slow on the turns, but it's a battle cruiser, so what do you expect? And since three of my favorite ships are big, slower yeah. cruisers, but they've got the firepower yeah. and they've got the tanking ability to handle almost anything. If you don't have maneuverability, just let, let the maneuverable guys the, do uh, that stuff. The Kutch is an awesome ship. Mm -hmm. And the reason for people calling it the out class. <laughs> yep, it's really uh, the devil's fork. Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, WC calls it the sugar tongs. So hopefully starting on Monday, Ed and I will be doing Invader Zim, depending on how much of this project I get done this weekend and have some extra time. Uh -huh. Plus get hopefully Yay. getting my house ready to get sold and figuring out how the heck I'm going to get all this stuff out of here and back to Indiana to put in my one-bedroom apartment. So if you need furniture, give me a phone call. <laughs> I have got furniture. I can't even take a good picture of it because I've got so much junk in my house at the moment. Oh, well, I, I have work to do, apparently. So on behalf oh, of Mom and Ed in the morning, thanks for joining us. Go watch the new Picard so we can all talk because I have to not say anything other than 4701. Ooh, maybe that should be my next ship number, the 4701. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, so Talia, uh, the furniture's like three of the pieces are worth a couple grand each, so I'm not going to be in a yard sale. I'd get burgled as soon as somebody turns over that kind of money. But yes, I'm having a massive yard sale um, because I just don't want to move all the stuff. I need to move my desk, my glass desk that I've moved up to Indy, back to Chicago, up to Indy, back to Chicago. And I have no place to put it in Indy at the moment because where I kept it is where Farns has got his couch. So now I have to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with Farns's couch. Man, I, yeah. Arson. Um, Burn it all down and start from scratch. So, Ed, it's up to you to say goodbye to everybody so I can go to work and make money so I can afford to have somebody come and burn my house down. So, yeah, <laughs> yes, it's Friday. Yay, Yay to us. Yay. Praise for the weekend and stay awesome.